I'm Eileen Wood, and this is today's episode of Bag Lunch. Yesterday, we spoke about amusing English designers. We discussed both Lulu Guinness and Anya Hindmarch. Today, we're going to talk about their American counterpart, and that is the late designer, Kate Spade. Here's a black swan that I believe I showed you in an earlier episode, but that doesn't make it any less wonderful. Here's another Kate Spade bag that features a swan. This one is very funny in that it appears to be an inflatable swan pool float. This is a sparkly Kate Spade bag that features moon phases. It makes a wonderful evening bag because it even works great against black. This is a bright and lovely Kate Spade bag that features bouquets of roses. It's just a wonderful rose collage print and it's taken from a photograph. Now the English designer Ted Baker also does similar floral and rose prints, but this is Kate Spade's version. And what's also sweet is that it has her signature bow as the clasp. This is a darling little clutch purse wallet. And it has a rabbit on the front done in a stylized way. And the back has the fluffy cotton tail. Here's an adorable Kate Spade bag with a cupid doll of a young lady winking and the back says, hello, stranger. This is a Kate Spade bag that channels an airmail envelope. It's a large tote, and on the front it says Par Avignon. And this was clearly a bag that inspired others because this is a bag I purchased at an inexpensive store and it features the same motif in that it's got an address at the front and the same envelope closure at the back. This final bag from Kate Spade is dear to my heart because it says, knock on wood. And that's my last name. And it's done in a wood print it looks like wood grain on the shiny patent vinyl. And I use this bag as a tote bag, but within it, I keep my Woody automobile. Thank you for joining us for today's episode of Bag Lunch. I look forward to seeing you next time.